So you know you need to raise your prices or you think you need to raise your handmade prices but maybe you're not sure exactly how. Like do you just put your prices up? Do you need to announce it to anyone? How do you increase your handmade product prices? Let's dive in. Hi, I'm Deb, founder of Tizitco, a membership community for makers and handmade shop owners. Pricing is a topic that I'm very passionate about and in fact I have done a few other videos to help you calculate your prices correctly, get past the fear of putting your prices up and also a video all about why you should put your prices up. So I'll make sure to link all of those below for you so that you can go and binge watch some pricing strategy videos. Now I'm assuming that if you're here it's because you are ready to increase your prices but you're just not sure how to actually do it. So it still maybe feel a little scary and you don't want to lose customers because of it. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. I'm also assuming that you are confident in the quality and the value of your product and that you can back this price increase with your carefully crafted brand and the shopping experience that you offer your customers. In other words, perceived value. So if that sounds about right, let's dive in with strategy number one. Strategy number one is simply put your prices up. Just bloody do it. Step one, put price up. Step two, make more money. Now, this is something that we loved about with my friends Michaela and Jess on our podcast, The Business of Making, which I will link to below the video as well. But seriously, that's pretty much the gist of it. You do not owe anyone an explanation as to why your prices are going up. You don't even owe anyone a heads up. It might feel like you do, but you don't. The right customers will stay with you despite the higher prices and anyone that leaves or doesn't want to purchase your product anymore or says, oh, I can't afford your prices anymore, that person wasn't your ideal customer in the first place. So let them go. Now I know this still feels kind of brutal, so let's talk about the alternative, which is announcing your price increase. Now I do actually recommend you announce the price increase, so if I was to recommend a strategy, that's probably the one that I would recommend, but you can go without announcing if you want. The reason I like the announcement strategy is that not only it's fair to past customers and it shows that you care to your followers, to your subscribers, but it also gives you an opportunity to actually make some sales before that price increase. So strategy number two, announcing the price increase. Now, the first thing that you want to do here is make sure that you don't announce that last minute. So you want to make sure that you might announce that maybe even a month in advance. So, you know, put a date in your calendar at which you say, okay, this is when my price go up and then announce it, but don't sort of announce it and then put the price up the next day because that's simply not enough time for people to uh, get even the information and read your email or however you're going to let them know about it. Now, the real stress factor here that I'm sure you're thinking is, well, okay, cool, announce it, but how do I do that? So here are a few tips. First, you wanna state that the price is increasing. You don't wanna try to over justify it or to apologize for it. Just be straight, direct, honest, and to the point. You wanna give them a clear date. So you wanna say something like, we will be increasing some of our prices or all of our prices on and then the date that you picked. And then you want to remind them of the value that they get and you want to do that in a way that sort of make them understand that you have costs in your business but you don't want to have to mention your actual cost or to justify your actual cost because that's none of their business. So what I mean by that is that you could say something like, uh, for example, if my I'm going to take my business name as an example, Tizit only uses the highest quality material and we know you wouldn't have it any other way or you could say something like this increase allows us or allows me to keep offering you the highest material so if you work with gemstones the highest quality gemstones um, while ensuring and then maybe some other benefit of your product while ensuring our materials are sourced responsibly or are eco-friendly or whatever it is that's a benefit of your product. Then you want to remind them the date again and explain that they can still get your current prices until then because that is sort of making them feel like because they have been such a loyal 
follower, subscriber, stockist or customer, they have a month or a couple of weeks or however long to still buy at your current prices. And it, it's almost like you're doing them a favor. So you might want to say something like these changes won't uh, take effect or be applied until that date. So you can shop our current prices until then. Now, bonus little tip or bonus little strategy that you can use either with strategy number one, so if you're not announcing your price increase, or with strategy number two, if you are announcing your price increase. And this is to have a sale with your higher price as the new price and discounted prices as your current price. So say that you have a product that's going to be uh, $50 and that's currently 45. You might want to put it up to 50 right now before the next month run a sale so that it is still $45. So it's a really nice way to sort of ease into the increase. And yes, this rhymes. But it's also great because the new customers that you're going to get during that period are aware of the new prices. They, they knew when they purchased at 45 that this was a sale and that the real price moving forward is going to be 50. So you don't have to sort of keep announcing that the price is going to go up. I hope this was helpful to you. Really, when it comes to increasing your prices, there is only one thing you can do and it's to put your prices up. Now, as I mentioned, I do have a lot more videos about pricing. If you still feel scared or unsure if it's going to cost you business and sales and customer to do this, there's a video just about that below. If you're not sure whether you should be increasing your price or not, there's a video for that below. And I also have a free pricing calculator that I'll link to below that you can go and download that's going to help you do the math to actually see whether or not you might need to increase your prices. And of course, if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I come up with a new video every Tuesday, always with the goal to help you start and grow a successful handmade shop. Until then, bye bye.